Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Okay, so I had a great day. At the very last minute, I decided to go into the San Francisco to the Gold Gate Bridge. Um, this time I drove in Sausalito, took my bike, and then I from there I biked up because I kind of figured it, the traffic was going to be bad, and I was correct. So I'm really glad I, I rode my bike. But it still took about 30 minutes because you got to go through Sausalito, and then you got to go up this really steep hill. All right, so I got a lot of footage today. I mean, a lot of footage. I'm going to break it down in probably a couple of videos. Um, or I might make one. We'll see. We'll see. But I got a lot of video, uh, footage. And uh, please forgive me for not being the best photographer. A lot of times I couldn't see because of the glare on my uh, on my screen. So I wasn't even sure if I was catching them. But there's a lot of times that I absolutely caught them. But it was a really cool show today. So I'm glad. Because it was really foggy. Uh, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to go because it was like, I'm looking at the video because they have a camera up on the bridge. It shows you like, yeah, it was really foggy. And they were talking about shutting the show down around 11 or noon. And around 1 o'clock or so, it started to clear up. And luckily, I clicked back on this website. I was like, oh, shit. So I had to like zoom in there. And I got there kind of late, but I, not really because I, I was, I got there about 2 o'clock, which was plenty of time. Because the Blue Angels didn't come out till about 2 or 3.30. And then they had a couple of planes come out before that. So this video in the big, very beginning, I've got about a minute or two of me riding through Sausalito. And I catch one plane as I'm going through. And then I catch another one as I'm going up the hill to the Golden Gate Bridge. Alright, so we're in Sausalito right now. And the air show is going on. It's about 2 o'clock, so it's... The big show is going to be at three, but there's a plane up there right now. It disappeared though. So we'll be back. There he is. I don't know if you can see him though. All right, we'll be back. It's kind of cool, huh? There's the Golden Gate Bridge. He's up there. I'm kind of going fast. So I can't see it, but it's right there. So I was wrong. I got more than an hour of the show. In fact, it was the best part. It was the whole reason for being there. So I was there waiting about 45 minutes for the show to start. So uh, the main part. So we got the little things that came before it, but it ended up being really cool. Well, it's beautiful today. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. The fog's coming in right at the very end. All right. So it, the Blue Angels will be out today, so it's about 2.30 I think right now. So check to see if those guys are here again today. I don't think so. Alright. So I think this is an F-35 and I think it's called a Lightning. I'm not, I'm not big up on the names and stuff. I'm shocked there's not more people here. There is on the other side, I know that. I might just go over there. Hey, 
Have they been coming close to this side? Sorry? Have they been coming to this side? No? No, I'm not really. That side? Yeah. Alright, I might I might go over there. <laughs> Shit. Sometimes it's nice over here. You not too much? Most of the time it's over there. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're gonna dash across the bridge. Probably take about 10 minutes or so. It's super, super windy. By the way, I call that Mike's Beach. It's really hard to get to their secret path. That's the overlook out. Alright, I'm on a mission. Getting across. I don't know. So that's a 777, 777. So that I think he's gonna lead the show. So I got here late. I missed kind of the pre-show, but it was only like one plane at a time. So the Blue Angels are going to come roaring out pretty soon here. I might go down there because this view kind of sucks. Is the fog's coming in? Most of their 777s out. Okay, so I actually wasn't late. I did miss a little bit of a pre-show, but it was kind of like boring stuff. It was like one plane at a time. And the one thing I did in video was, I, but I did see it when I was going down to that spot past the Golden Gate Bridge where I was at. The, the emergency helicopter, the rescue helicopters, etc. They had two come out and then they had the... I might have caught this part. No, I didn't actually, where they dove into the water. They had the Navy divers go into the water. So I didn't get a chance to record that but I did see it so I did get the bulk of the show so it's really cool um, in fact we were waiting there for about 35 45 minutes to for the show so I was wrong on saying that oh I you know was late so I actually got there early before the main show so the plane you're going to see next is a, a what's called a 777. You know, remember the 737s, and now it's up to 777. They might even have a 787, but it's a bigger plane and it lifts up really fast. It's got it's designed and powerful. But the thing is, I don't think it's actually a military plane. I think it's just United. In fact, I said United on site. I think they're kind of just like showing off and advertising. Oh yeah. So I understand, is this a military plane or just a, an airline? No, it's, it's like... Both? United, I mean, United's kind of like a hub here, so... Yep. You know, so they're probably just like... Yeah, there's some... Yeah. Like, yeah, so you can tell them, like, go ahead and launch and... Yeah. There was another guy, like, on the side scroll saying, hey, they just... They're, Jets just took off from SFO. And okay. So it was kind of a cool thing. They had all the information and everyone, you know. All right. So this is, a, they call it Big Boy. Hopefully, he zooms around this way closer. God, I hope he zooms this. All right, so this plane is called Big Albert or Big Boy. I believe it's called Big Albert, but some people are calling it Big Boy. This plane, someone said, was like an equipment plane, but actually I've seen a documentary on YouTube about this a couple of years ago. This type of plane, I believe, has like radars and stuff on it so they can see or detect submarines underneath and, you know, like the radar in the area, etc. So I believe that's what they're for. And I'm not, I'm not an expert on this stuff, so, uh, but I, I believe that's what the documentary was about. Cause it was the same type of plane. Obviously, with my eyes. I mean, not with the camera. So he's going to come around here, I think. Oh, there he is. 
That is awesome. Probably gonna catch them right there, maybe not. Oh, I barely. Yeah, harder than the unicorn. What's going on? back here, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good spot. Yeah, especially they come from behind you. Yeah. So this guy talked me into staying here, so it's a pretty good view. <laughs> I almost went down there, but he's now that's a good view. So it's right right above the water. Did it hit the water? Looks almost like it's skipping on it. Yeah, I think these guys are used to do radar for submarines below the water or stuff like that. You know what that plane was for? What did they use that plane for? It's part of the weight. Just part of the weight. It carries all their equipment around and then they do that most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Is that Bob or something? <laughs> carries the gear. I see. <laughs> you know, I think those planes are actually used for to do like radar the submarines under the water okay. maybe not that one but the type yeah that's gonna be sneaky there's one way out there flying pretty fast uh, yeah it's faster than a commercial plane but it's way out there probably not picking up on it so i'm gonna wait for it to get closer almost to the hill right there going to the left City looks so pretty right now, doesn't it? It's so pretty. You think something's coming this way? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, it was nothing, huh? I'm oh, sorry. Dang. There's a spot right up there, not too far from the Golden Gate Bridge. And it was it was foggy about 30 minutes ago. That's why I came over here, because you pretty much couldn't see. You could see below, and even here. So it's cleared up a lot. So here's what I meant. So it's kind of hard to decide if I want to go back over there or stay here, because this is a great spot too. Any minute now. Okay, so I decided to stay in that spot. I'm going to upload some more videos in the next video. I don't want to overload this to be too long. It's already 14 minutes, but some people like watching these videos for a long time. So I'm going to kind of keep them short because the next couple of videos, so one is like 10 minutes, one seven minutes. So I'm just going to upload them and see how it goes. This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. This is normally a personal development, uh, emotional healing channel, also specializing in dating relationships. Um, that's pretty much it, but we're not gonna be doing this in this in the next couple of videos. We're gonna be focusing on the air show. I, I had a blast at this show. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please click subscribe, click the like button, make a comment. And if you want, there's a PayPal link if you wanna make a donation right there in the description box. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be right back.